Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 428. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 223 to 230. Hey, dates. Uh, someone was having trouble entering dates, and so we got to look at date syntax. Always remember, numbers are aligned right by default, and text or words are right, aligned left. That comes from the normal style. Date. So December. 31, 2009. Whoops. That is when I hit enter, it is aligned to the left. So you immediately know that it's text. And dates are always numbers. The reason why is because of that period. Of course, if you did this, this one would not work either. If you spelled it all out, December. 31, 2009. That's a common uh, mistake that uh, people make. When you hit Enter, what? It's a line left. Similarly, obviously, if you do the, dis the shorter version, that also will not work. So how do you enter dates? You have to enter dates. Um, and dates are how you enter dates depends on what regional setting you are using. If you go to Settings, region and language options you can set it. The my options are set so I have to enter the month first. So I'm going to type 12 slash 31 slash 2009. That is one foolproof way to enter a date. As soon as I enter it, it immediately is aligned to the right and you know that it is being thought of as a number. Now I don't like that format so I'm going to control 1 I'm going to go up to date and maybe select that. Click OK. Now, dates are numbers. I have lots of other videos on that. Just search for date format. But control one, if you erase all of that number format, and this is number formatting by going converting back to general, you see that's the number of days since December 31st, uh, 1899. January 1st, 1900 is 1, 2, 3, etc. So this day is 40,000, whatever. All right, uh, be sure, yeah, date, uh, enter dates like that, doesn't work. Enter a date like that, it will work. All right, we'll see you next trick.